Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be analyzing some product research figures because um, basically a lot of the emails I get are asking this, this very question of, can you look at my, my the product I found? Um, so I thought it'd be a good idea just to analyze five products, just so you can understand what I think and um, some kind of red flags and what's good, what's bad, all that sort of stuff. And if you get any questions, just hit them up in the comments and I will of course answer them. Also, remember this is actually a giveaway video, so guys, comment down below um, if you would like to win up to 25 pounds off of this video. And of course, wait till the end of the video and I will tell you who won the last giveaway. So guys, without further ado, let's get right. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Let's Let's share the screen first of all. Cool. So the first thing I looked at, um, and I actually I found this from Alibaba. I didn't find this by looking on uh, Jungle Scout or anything like that. I found it from Alibaba just because I don't know. I just was looking at stuff and I came across it and I thought, oh, this is an interesting FBA idea. FBA idea, and this is an ice ball. So rather than ice cube, they're like balls that you can make. They're good for like gin and uh, for being a bit being a bit fancy. So as you can see, the bestseller. What are they doing differently? They've got a box. They've got a good looking box next to their product, which will be the same to other people. Now I looked at Alibaba, these are the super, super cheap ones. Whereas uh, the ones are like this, which are kind of similar to these, then they're a little bit more expensive. Yeah, go these ones here, they're a little bit more expensive. But again, these things are so cheap, they're super light. Uh, in terms of a good product to private label, they are perfect. They're small, they're light, easy to package, easy to send, uh, you know, very, very kind of good product to private label. A few different ways of doing it as well, but if you can do the box, then I think that's how you stand out within this. Again, these guys have got a box, but their picture isn't that good. Their picture doesn't really show like the actual product itself. So that's, you know, that's what they can do better. So that's the product. And that's first of all, what goes through my head. Is it something that actually I could private label myself? Let's go ahead and look at the Jungle Scout numbers. All right, cool. So now the first thing, the reason why I personally wouldn't get in this product was the, is actually the price because um, it's very low and I want to make sure there's enough money available for PPC, for advertising and still make a good amount of profit. The only way, like literally the only way I'd get involved in this product if, if I was doing the same as these guys here. So doing like a higher quality product. The quality is the same, but it's the, the perceived quality of the product. Um, that's why I personally wouldn't get involved in it. But if you've got a very, very low budget, you can easily snap up 300 units of this super, super cheap, probably for three to 400 pounds, you could probably get these for. Now let's have a look over on the, the right hand side. First of all, category is, is awesome. Home and kitchen, um, that's open to everyone. So nice and easy to sell in. Sales figures for the UK, these are really good sales figures. For the UK, they're pretty good. They're pretty steady across the board. There are a few that are a little bit lower, uh, like these ones here, they do dip off towards the end. But honestly, for the UK market, these are quite, these are quite, you know, they're, they're all right, they're all right. So average monthly sales of 356. Now, couple the 356 with the low selling price and the low profit you're gonna be making, you're probably not gonna make a huge amount of money on this. You're not gonna make thousands from this product because there's just not the amount of revenue to, to allow for it. However, if you want to get into Amazon FBA and you have a very small budget, these are the sorts of products you're gonna be looking at is where they don't sell crazy amounts, but they are still quite cheap. So you can double your money. You might even be able to make more than double your money. Um, but for me, they don't kind of spark a, a need to get involved. Revenue, as you can see here, again, you're, you're never gonna be making loads and loads and loads. Uh, these guys are making five grand. And they're probably they're probably making three grand. Well, no, six grand they've got on that. So they'll make probably three or four grand they're making on those a month. So still very good products. There's definitely areas for that. Like these guys here though, they're they're lowballing their products majorly, like 1,800 sales, but they're only making three grand a month. Like personally, I, I just think that's just not worth it. Um, but let's go over to the reviews to the competition. Now, if we count the reviews that are over a hundred, so one, two, three, four. Five. So we've got five out of the top 14 or the top 15 that are over 100. Um, that's kind of competitive, but there is room for for a seller. There is room for us um, if we did want to get involved. So you see these guys here, they've got 12 reviews and they are on 112 sales. Okay, so it's not, it's not crazy. It's not 500. It's not 300. 
But again, if you're new to it, if you've got a, a low amount to invest, then hey, you could probably look at this product. I personally wouldn't get involved because I don't think there's enough money to um, to do the ranking. But hey, you can look at it. You never know. Uh, the next one we're going to look at is touch screen gloves. Again, I didn't find this on Jungle Scout. I was just thinking about like potential products we could we could look at. Uh, I don't want to like give anyone's products away or anything like that. Uh, but again, these ones are they brandable? Yes. Like these guys have branded them just here. They're not the best product to brand, um, but you know they're they're average. They're average. The selling price, however, way too low for me. Except these guys. Who are these guys? So these guys are selling for eighteen pounds, which is good. So I'm I want to find out what they're doing, and I want to I want to mimic what they're doing. Okay. Why are they selling for eighteen pounds? And these guys are selling for eight, for four pounds. Okay, so even though they're down the rankings here, they're still selling selling 740 or 750 ish a month, um, which is a good amount. They're probably making five or six pounds profit on those at least, and they've got 13 and a half grand revenue with 34 reviews. So that's pretty good. Like these guys here, I would say these are good, good sales, average monthly sales of 500. So they they're good. Um, at the top, there is some competition, 200 sales, 400 sales, 300 sales. So that is a little red flag to me about, ooh, can I actually rank on, on that first page? It would be pretty tricky. I'm not going to lie. It's gonna, that's going to be pretty tricky to rank with these guys. You could certainly get within these ranges. Yeah. Um, however, bear in mind, if this person is selling 900, so if they're selling 1,000 a month, right, they're selling 30 a day or 33 a day. Right, I could should have done my head. But they're selling about 33 a day. So to rank above these guys, you should really be doing more, or you rank better for those keywords. So uh, this all goes into your ranking, your pictures, all that sort of stuff. Uh, as you can see, look, those guys, those guys are sponsored. So the ones seven, selling for 17.99, they're sponsored. So do you know what? They might have a really good PPC strategy, a really good PPC campaign. So as you can see, guys, the money can be made. The money is made. It's there to be made. You just need to go out and get it. But Okay, product, really cheap to uh, manufacture, really cheap to get into the country. Uh, wouldn't be too hard. Some of these are in sports and outdoors. Clothing, clothing is technically gated, but it's like you just like one button get ungated. Uh, electronics, uh, I don't know why it'd be in electronics, but that's cool. I would personally put it in the clothing department for myself. But again, Amazon <coughs> can just change the department itself. Next one is yoga mat. Now this one, I just wanted to show you something that was too competitive. Selling price uh, again. These will be super cheap to manufacture and to get, so the people are probably making a bit of bit of profit on these. But because the products are very similar, it's probably a price to the bottom, uh, which again is not not very good. Uh, the average monthly sales apparently actually only two hundred ninety three. So as you can see, the sales not crazy crazy high, but they're very consistent. Okay, this is the thing that we like. We like consistency. That we know that if you're on the first page, you're doing all right. Going down to the bottom of the second page, it <coughs> gets a bit iffy. But the, <coughs> excuse me. However, the reason why we wouldn't get involved in this is there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. On the first page, there's like twelve people over hundred reviews. That just means it's way too competitive. Um, you know, it's going to be hard for you to to really stand out. Uh, these guys, what? Look at these. Large, oh, did I click it? Didn't mean to click that. I didn't. That's good. Um, but yeah, large mat, ninety nine pounds. Really? Are people buying that? Who knows? But there we go. So two competitive. Uh, two more to go through. Again, I just I I just want one of these. So I just searched for it. Um, so I want like a cool watch holder. Not for this many watches. I just want it for like for my one. Uh, but I want like a cool little watch holder that I can eventually build up a little collection. Like maybe like one like these. So I thought, hey, I'll just use it on the video as well. Uh, now the selling price is pretty good. I like the selling price on this product. Eighteen pounds. Like 18, 20 pounds is exactly where I want to be as a seller. Um, I think that's a really good amount to be trying to make because even if you're only selling 100 a month, but you're making eight pounds or 10 pounds profit, then you're making you know a decent amount of money. Like you really are. So you can see the top seller here, 14 grand a month they're making, and that's uh, this one here. So they're probably getting that for, um, I would say, anywhere between four or five pounds, maybe maybe yeah, probably four or five pounds. Might be a little bit less than that, seeing as they're selling so many. But um, that's a decent product. Ninety-nine reviews. You know, that's you, that you can compete with that. The only thing is that you can see there, there, there's three, three of them in the top. 
and they're different products though. They are different products. It's just they ranked them quite well. Um, but in terms of competition, pretty low competition to be honest. Um, the only problem here is the sales are just a tad low. Like these sales here, they're, they're a little bit low for these ones in the middle. However, for this sort of selling price, I'd be happy with 400, 200, 284 sales. I'd definitely be happy with 700 sales or 1,000 sales. So again, potentially a good product. Um, people have got it in different areas. I don't know where, what, which will be the preferred category for Amazon. I can imagine it will be either watches or home and kitchen. Definitely not DOI and tools. Uh, I don't know why people are putting it in that category. Um, but yeah, good product. Look into it. You never know. Uh, last one we're going to look at, what is this? This is a burger press. I, I can't imagine this to be particularly high sales. Well, um, well there we go. Um, not awful, but not great. So a burger press. So these little things that you put the meat in and you just press it to make it look like a burger. Um, pretty cool little product. And you see they're bundling here with the little like paper things. So you could maybe, you can store them for your barbecue. Now, seasonal products, probably. Um... I can't imagine many of these to be so well actually it's Christmas so you probably might actually sell quite a few of these around Christmas and of course in summer then you'd be selling a lot of them as well so potentially it's a good gift present and it's a good seasonal present so uh, yeah could be could be a really good product uh, top seller doing just under a thousand which is pretty decent making about 80 or 12 sorry 12 12,000 pounds revenue the others are drastically they're less so these guys are getting a lot of the market, which is just, they have a really simple one. Now that, that's probably got some good margin on it. I can imagine, because it's a very simple product, probably got some good margin. Uh, these guys here, that's sponsored. So these top sellers, really simple product. Uh, sorry, that's a top seller, simple product. You see, if I was this guy, I would mimic what these are doing, because it's the same product. So I would put a burger, just a better looking burger in my picture. These guys have got a burger, pretty bad looking burger, but they've also said, look, we've got a bundle of 100 of these. So that means they, they'll be getting sales because of that. This one um, doesn't have a picture of a burger. It doesn't show what the product does or is. I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't buy that one. But uh, I put a picture of a burger in. That makes a lot of sense. Deluxe Stuffed. Which ones are these ones? So these ones here, they're doing all right. 288 sales. They've got a box as well which is quite nice. So as you can see, guys, even with the most mundane, boring products, you can make money on them. You just have to know what to look for. Personally, I wouldn't get involved within this product because the sales dip, up, dip off quite quickly and um, the selling price is a little bit low for me. But again, it might be something that you want to look for. If you're happy making 50 sales a month and that you're happy doing that, then you can put yourself in the second, you can put yourself down here and you can definitely get 50 sales a month. And then what you can do is work on getting up to 100 sales a month and you can eventually do it. Just look at the people that are doing well and mimic what they're doing. Make it a little bit different, get better pictures and you're probably going to be quite successful with it. Um, but guys, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I, like, I like doing these sorts of videos when we're talking about analyzing and stuff like that. If you want to, if you're in the US, just go ahead and type in these products because no doubt they will be way better sales in the US. So for example, uh, this is this is a thing, like the US uh, normally has higher sales. Let's look at Amazon.com. Oh, didn't want to do that. Burger Press, why am I copying and pasting? Don't need to copy and paste, just type it in. Burger Press, similar products. Look, exactly the same products. Um, not, not drastically higher. A lot more competition though. So as you can see, in the US, it would be an okay product, um, not a great one, not an awful one. However, actually, no, it wouldn't be good because the com it's too competitive. Yeah, too competitive on that one. But a lot more barbecues happening in the US than the UK. Uh, but yeah, have a look at these guys uh, if you're in any other country, just to see if they're viable options for you. Because you never really, you never really know. Um, when we're looking at stuff in the UK, it might be a good product somewhere else. Equally, you can research US products and then just try and find them in the UK market. If they do really well and maybe they're oversaturated and over, you know, too competitive in the US, they actually might be a perfect product for the UK. Uh, I have a product um, that I'm looking to pull the trigger on, which is pretty good in the UK, but in the US, it's amazing. Um, so I'm going to maybe look to move to the US eventually, 
but I'm going to start get my foundations in the UK with that market and then move into other regions eventually. But guys, if you like this sort of video, just give it a bit of a thumbs up um, and leave a comment with what you think. And today is going to be a giveaway video as well. So let's go ahead and choose a giveaway winner. All right, cool. So this is the last giveaway video. If you commented on this video, then you put yourself forward to win some money. Um, let's go ahead and pick a winner. But remember, guys, if you want to win this giveaway, make sure you comment down below a comment down below ASAP because I'll be choosing the winner very very shortly. And again, PayPaling you up to twenty five pounds. But let's go ahead, pick a winner. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Awesome, Paulius. Uh, I know exactly who you are. Uh, you said a great video and a superb stream in one day. You spoil us. What happened? What happened was I accidentally went live uh, when on the same day as recording this video. Oh no, the same day as uploading this video. So I went. I had a live stream for a second and then this video as well. So, dude, I'm going to send you this much money. Uh, send me an email to info at johnnybradley.com. Uh, then I'll send that over to you. Uh, just let me know your PayPal email address and of course the currency. And I'm going to send you a massive twelve pounds. A massive 12 pounds you know that is, that is a lot of money but there we go dude uh, 12 pounds coming your way as long as you do email me um guys if you think that i'm not going to get an email and when and this prize isn't going to be claimed to make sure you of course comment down below it could be a rollover comment on the next video and so on uh, because the last rollover got to i think 61 pounds i ended up giving away 66 because i made a mistake so there we go one person got 66 pounds just from commenting on one video um, so it's crazy. You can definitely win. But there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be able to win this money. And of course, just to see the content, like the video if you like it. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.